And we're back with more of today in a very special program dedicated to helping children. The, the uh, statistics are, they're just staggering. Mm -hmm. On average, four children die every day as a result of child abuse and neglect. We recently spent a day at a child help village, which is a residential treatment facility that cares for abused, neglected, and at-risk children. Take a look. It's 6.45 a.m. The sun is peeking over the rolling Virginia hills. It's the beginning of another day at the Alice C. Tyler Village for Child Help. Inside cottage number nine, five young girls are finishing their breakfast. Can I clean? Yes, you may. The routine is structured. The environment is safe. It's a new beginning for many here. A lot of children are coming here because they've been abused and neglected, and so they're not always happy walking in the door. But we want to teach them that, that there are happy things in life and they can have that chance for happiness. We're marching off to school. March, 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 march. At 8 a.m., the school doors open and kids from across the campus arrive for class. You did well with this. You took your time. The goal here educationally is to find out where the child is and to bring them up up to where they need to be. My goal for today what? is to be nice to others. We do make it creative. Do you want to come and do your yeah. spelling? And uh, we teach the children in different ways because they learn in different ways. Okay. Here. The school day at the village is about more than letters and numbers. There is music. Library reading. Start chapter one. Art therapy. School. Occupational therapy. Good job. And one of the most popular activities on campus, therapy with horses. They're very large. Horses give an opportunity for self-confidence. Walk. There you go. Walk. 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 Nice teamwork, guys. We're doing um, a team building session today, and really uh, we're getting the kids to work together to figure out how to get the um, horses through an obstacle okay. course. <laughs> That's cool. The animals, you know, don't talk back, and the horses allow them to be who they are and meet them exactly where they are. Why do you think he is? Back up the hill, a team of staff members is meeting. He's currently on stage five with a 98 percent. Part of a monthly process to assess each child's individual treatment plan. You know, came back down. Everybody responds very well to therapy, attends regularly. It's in the running club. We should be really proud of ourselves. It's good. We've come a long way. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The school day is followed by snack and recreational time, and every activity is an opportunity to learn. A lot of the children that we see at the village um, come in with behaviors such as verbal and physical aggression. They come in with self-injurious behaviors. These are children who are hurting. Um, these are children that we can make a difference with. I've learned to keep myself in control. I want them to reach their fullest potential. If you get mad, all you have to do is take your best, count to 10. When they come to child help, they're able to be children again. It feels good because the people are my friends. I think that we can always make a difference. They actually care for us, and I feel like I'm actually loved. We want them to take back a sense of um, self-esteem, that they can accomplish anything that they put their minds to. God has always um, put you someplace for a reason, and I thank God for putting me here. He's helped me a lot. At 5 in the afternoon, the day is winding down. The first of two groups is sitting down for dinner in cottage number three. The day ends as it begins, with routine with something and someone these kids can count on. 179 full-time staff caring for 63 children, giving new meaning to the phrase, it takes a village. My ultimate goal for these children is that they can lead healthy, independent, and successful lives. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Go ahead, one more time. They learn to trust again. Uh -huh. you know, they've lost so much trust with the people that were supposed to care for them. And then for the first time in their lives, they have someone who truly loves them. And if people want to help out, this is run solely on donations, right? Yes. It's, it's an extraordinary. Go to right. childhelp.org. And look at our, and our, our ladies posse. are here. Our and, and we're going to come back with our Everyone yeah. Has a Story. And remember that, that the song, Standing with Hope, is mm -hmm. going to be on iTunes today. But you go to klgandhoda.com. Right. And all the profits from all the music for this whole series is going to go to help the very children that you, you just go saw. Ahead, anyway.
Stick around. Everyone has a story. It's coming up. You do not want to miss it right after this. It's suddenly clear in that moment that nothing will ever be the same again.